Yeah, so there was some great talks about ITP. Um, there was a session chaired by um, Nicola Cooper, um, who went through various different things about um, the new phase two studies that are coming out. Also in that session, we had a talk from Charlotte Bradbury um, on data from flight and a planned trial looking at um, upfront romoplostum alongside dexamethasone in the UK. Um, and we also had a great talk um, on ADA2 deficiency um, talking about that as a potential cause for stroke in patients at a young age. Um, so specifically thinking about ITP, I think my take home messages were that there's a real explosion of new drugs looking at different immunosuppression and we should get data through on them, you know, over the next few years in terms of what are the treatment lines we have available for second line and beyond. Um, and then also some data about using oral immunosuppressants versus rituximab second line and really showing pretty much equivalent responses and the message from that being that we should really talk to a patient at that stage about whether their preference is to have oral medication or to try something that may give a response for a bit longer that defers a start to oral medication. So I think there's lots of things coming out in ITP and that's going to be something where we see lots of data over the next few years. Um, there was also a HemeStar meeting um, within BSH and HemeStar are support and studies in various different aspects of um, non-malignant haematology, including looking at ITP rates after the COVID vaccine. So there's also going to be a lot coming out from all of these areas from that group.